Hello everyone, welcome to my studio vlog. My name is Frances and I live on an airboat along with my husband Gavin and our dog Archie. So I'm really looking forward to this year um, in terms of my art business. I'm, I'm excited about things that I want to do, things I want to learn um, and things I want to get made. Uh, but just before Christmas, um, my family went to Stourhead House to have a look at the Christmas lights. I've never been, so these lights, these are glowing mushrooms and they're all kind of spread out amongst the trees and these were definitely my favourite. Um, and these were pretty cool as well. Uh, I've never uh, never been to any kind of Christmas event before, so... I really enjoyed this. They had music throughout and you just basically followed, weaved your way around the gardens um, just staring at the lights. So, which I did actually, I did a lot of standing and staring, most definitely getting in other people's way. So, but I just couldn't help it. They were pretty mesmerizing. So this piece is what I'm currently working on at the moment. I've, I'm nearly finished. Um, and this is um, a character I've drawn before. So I've done this picture as a bookmark design and I wanted to do a full portrait. Um, so this is a green forest wolf with purple mushrooms kind of sprouting or growing out along his back. And I wanted to try and make these mushrooms glowing um, uh, I'm trying to sort of do things a little bit differently with my artwork or try just experiment and try things new I'm, I'm definitely learning how to do certain things with my art um, you know always trying to improve um, I, I do sometimes uh, watch other people watch other pastel artists and see how they work and, and see how they use the pastels it's it's really quite interesting um i don't think there's any kind of wrong or, or right way of doing something everyone's sort of unique and everyone ha has their own technique um but it's just it's just interesting you can pick up a few things so i am always trying to sort of get better or or work quicker with my art so uh but when this piece is finished i will eventually get it um as a print um, and then my next project that I want to work on is to get some fabric made and printed and then hopefully start sewing and making some products to sell. So um, I'm excited to where things can go, my artwork and yeah, so I think, uh, I think it's going to be, hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll be a good year. So. Hello everyone, I hope you all had a good Christmas or a good holiday or whatever you were doing over Christmas, whether you celebrate it or not. Um, I hope everyone is well and for this video this is going to be my 2024 goals. So I've written a few things down that I wanted to try out or achieve. Um, or experiment um, for 2024. So if you guys are new here, uh, this is my second studio vlog. Um, I do like pastel pencil, uh, like kind of realism drawings, mainly sort of mythical creatures. And last year, uh, sounds weird saying that, last year, in September, that's when I kind of officially started my art business. Um, I, I've set up a Shopify store and I've got an Etsy shop. I've got a few kind of handful of products um, that I got made uh, at the end of last year. So I'm just documenting my art journey. Um, I'm really new to all of this. I've I'm learning everything. I'm learning how to do practically everything. I'm learning how to edit. I'm learning how to make, get stuff 
made. Um, so half of my time is just researching stuff. So what I want to achieve for this year, as it's just a new business, it's going to be figure, figuring stuff out, I guess, and just seeing where I want to go, um, what kind of products I kind of want to make. So let me just give you some examples. So the first thing that I want to do, or my main objective is I want to get fabric made. I want to get printed fabric. Um, I've just, this is my notes and I have three designs so far. Archie's just got off the sofa. I brushed him before he got in and he's super fluffy. Archie, Archie, oi, come here, come here, Archie. Oh, he's licking a bowl. Anyway, um, so I have three designs that I want to get made. Um, I'm in the process of doing one at the moment. Again, I'm having to figure out how to do stuff, figuring out how to actually get a fabric print made it's just meh. um and then things that i want to make from my fabric so i have a sewing machine and i'd like to do as much as my own like sewing myself archie's like <laughs> oh he's on the sofa like archie He's trying to, where dogs like they, when they dig and try to make a bed, he's doing that on the sofa. Oh. Okay, so, it, just ignore if you can hear stuff in the background. Um, so I want to make, uh... Archie, can you just sit down? Archie, just sit down. Archie, I'm trying to film stuff, sit down. Right, lie down, good boy. Okay, so things I want to make with uh, my fabric is things like uh, like cushion covers, tea towels, dog coats, aprons, uh, blankets maybe, just simple kind of things that I could do on the sewing machine. Um, and I'd like to try clay sort of models or clay decorations um i've got some polymer clay they're only like little tiny tiny little thing i don't know i can only find like little squares little tiny squares and i want to have a go at making stuff with that um and i've got down here like things like jewelry making jewelry uh, paper garlands, or gar like garlands, greeting cards. Uh, I can, I'm probably going to add to the list as I go along, but um, I mean, I'm not asking for much in terms of like setting myself goals to kind of hit. Um, I think I just, it's, it's just a case of kind of experimenting and figuring stuff out and, and just deciding where I want to take my art to like what kind of products basically that I kind of enjoy making but so far what I've got made is I've got art prints which I'll always do I've got um, a couple of stickers I've got a couple of key charms like keychains and I've got a book bookmark um, yeah so I mean it's nice what I'd like to do is to kind of make more of my own like stuff in house. Um, certainly, for fabric I can do, although um, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it here on the boat just because there's no room for a start, um, and I don't have a table that's level enough that I can sew from. If that makes sense? Like um, my desk here is too high. The last time I tried sewing, I had to stand up doing it and I made a right pig's breakfast of whatever I was sewing. So I think I'm on point. I have to um, invade mum's home if I did any 
sewing projects. Uh, but yeah, that is a thing that I think I'm going to sort of discover as I go along is when, you know, I'm going to keep, keep doing this and hopefully my business will grow and I'll get more stuff in, but the challenges of, of living on a boat, um, I live on a narrow boat, um, is where do I put stuff to? Because I'm obviously limited, um, to space and those are sort of things I'm going to have to think about. Um, I do have some plans to make some sort of extra storage. I'm okay with my DIY. Yeah. And speaking of like DIY, I thought it might be kind of fun, interesting to kind of include other things that I do around here, not just art stuff. I do work quite slowly with my art, so I'm not producing a lot of stuff and I thought um, these studio vlogs I kind of want them to be a bit more kind of personalised like personal like showing you kind of other things that I do not just my art stuff um, so last year I hardly did any DIY stuff on the boat we are kind of slowly doing that up and this year I would like to actually sort of make a bit of progress with that like for example I want like a new kitchen not a completely new kitchen but a, a nicer kitchen basically so there's like painting to do there's bits of flooring to do so I just thought it might be nice to kind of film bits of it and just kind of add it into like my vlogs um, yeah just to yeah do something a bit different um, I always enjoy watching um, other people do stuff like non arty stuff if they go off somewhere or they're just like tidying up their house or something I'm like bit of a nosy bitch I think but um yeah so that's my 2024 plans it's just a case of experimenting with things trying things out learning a lot of stuff continuing to learn things and just growing my business growing things it's like at the moment it's like it's like a little egg it's gonna hatch into like a chicken hopefully and then it'll grow up and stay alive sort of thing so I'm hoping it can only go up I just have to keep keep going at it keep learning little bits at a time working at my own pace yeah so that's that so hopefully when like 2025 comes around I can look back and just see how far I've got and what I've achieved and what I haven't and that sort of thing so that's me. Um, I hopefully I will get this uploaded soon, um, and I hope you guys have the rest of the day. And Archie settled back down on the sofa. So, bye.